In today's video, I want to talk about how to naturally boost and balance women's hormones. Hormonal imbalances have become increasingly common with today's fast-paced modern lifestyle and I've often heard women complain about hormonal imbalance, saying that I feel tired, crappy, or just feel terrible all the time. So why do we get hormonal imbalance? Is there something wrong with this? Of course not. All the sufferings related to hormonal imbalance is not really the result of bad luck. It's in fact due to bad habits. It's bitter but truth. Drinking alcohol and smoking, eating a high sugar content food, refined carbohydrates, and actually consuming dairy, gluten, uh, not exercising enough, being exposed to en environmental toxins, and being chronically stressed could be contributing to your hormonal imbalance. And because of your hormonal imbalance, you may experience stress problems, depression, anxiety, uh, severe PMS symptoms, menopause, and many other symptoms. Now, there are many signs and symptoms that indicate that your hormones are imbalanced. I'm not gonna talk about that in this video because I have a separate video on it. So if you're interested, you can just watch that. I'll put the link in the description. I'll also put it in the i button. So do watch that out before you start watching this video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the most effective ways to boost and balance your hormones. So without any further delay, let's get going. So tip number one is diet. Right diet is like the reset button to balance your hormones. Well, the first step involves removing the bad stuff out of your diet. Now, research shows that high intake of sugar, um, red meat, processed foods, dairy, and refined grains can actually mess up your hormones. So try to limit such foods. Instead, you wanna eat the foods that will improve your hormone level, like flex seeds. I like to add one to two tablespoons of flex seeds in my morning smoothies or pudding, even on my cereal. Ladies, it's like a wonder food. Great in balancing hormones. Actually, studies have shown that flex seeds may play an important role in decreasing the risk of breast cancer, especially in postmenopausal women. Also, try adding good fats in your meal. One thing I want to point out here is that don't be afraid of fats. Good fats are actually essential building blocks of our hormone health. They give our body some good energy and support the cell growth. So do incorporate good fats in your diet. Foods high in good fat uh, includes uh, things like vegetable oils, like olive oil, canola oil, also nuts, seeds, and fish. Tip number two is take your vitamins and supplements. So apart from your diet, you can also add some good vitamins and supplements in your daily routine, because some of these vitamins are great for female hormones like fish oil and additional vitamin B and D help balance the estrogen levels. Take these in addition to a good multivitamin and mineral, which has sufficient amounts of calcium and magnesium. And if you have decreased levels of estrogen, you can actually try wild yam and it actually helps increase your estrogen activity and it comes in a cream and supplement form. Use whatever works for you. Another estrogen uh, supplement is DHEA. This is actually a naturally occurring uh, precursor to estrogen. So taking it can actually increase the amounts of uh, circulating estrogen, but it should only be used under the supervision of a physician as it has side effects. And also remember that too much estrogen is also not good. So when it comes to balancing hormones, you wanna keep in mind that you don't have too much of a certain hormone and too little of a hormone because that can actually result in different complications and side effects. Another thing to keep in mind is that before you start taking any supplements, you should get your hormone levels checked. Take the supplements only after checking with your doctor and pharmacist and only if you have lower levels of certain um, vitamins or hormones because like I said before, you don't want to overdo on these hormones because of using supplements. Just remember that excess of anything is bad. Also, when taking supplements, keep it in mind that it will take at least three to six months before they start showing their effect. And if you don't see any benefit after using them for at least three to four months, then there's no point of continuing them. Discontinue and check with your doctor about any other suitable option. 
All right, so tip number three is sleep. I feel like when it comes to sleep, it's very underrated. So get enough sleep. Sleep may be among the most important factors for hormonal balance and levels of some hormones can actually rise and fall throughout the day because of the lack of sleep or just the poor quality of sleep. So regularly getting a full undisturbed night's sleep can actually help regulate your hormone levels. Tip number four is manage stress. Now, have you ever noticed that your skin starts to break out when you're stressed out about a job or a certain project? Or you may have noticed that um, you start to get irregularities in your periods when stressed out? Because yes, stress and your hormones are linked. Stress actually leads to an increase in adrenaline and cortisol hormone. And if these hormones are too high, it can disrupt the overall balance of your hormones. And this contribute to other factors like obesity, um, changes in mood, and even cardiovascular issues. So it's very important to find ways to reduce your stress. I actually have a video on stress management. Uh, watch that to get some of the tips. And ladies, take a deep breath, take one day at a time, and trust me, you got this. Do not stress out. Tip number five is exercise. Now exercise reduces stress and we've talked about it, how stress is important to manage the hormones. And not only that, exercise helps us maintain a healthy weight and promote a restful sleep. It also supports the healthy mood, mental health and immune function. But remember that vigorous exercise is an added stress on the body, so don't overdo it. If you're not used to working out or exercise a lot, then start slow just with daily simple walk. Once your body is get used to the exercise, then find something that you love to do. It could be anything, running, long walks, weight training, dance, or just any other form of movement that you enjoy. My next tip is to limit caffeine. Now, if you're a big coffee lover like I am, I'm sorry, this is not gonna be a good news. It's important to limit your caffeine because caffeine is a nervous system stimulant that can be actually hard on our adrenal glands. These are actually the glands that are responsible for our stress response and they can also disrupt our sleep. If you're wanting to support your hormone system, then try to limit your caffeine, like reduce coffee intake or other caffeinated drinks. Instead, maybe try an herbal tea like green tea. Green tea, in fact, is great for your health because it contains the antioxidants and compounds that boost your metabolic health. Tip number seven is take probiotics. Now, probiotics are the healthy gut bacteria and research shows that probiotics not only help balance the hormones, but can also help manage mood disorder and normalize the inflammation. And above all, probiotics are great for gut health. See, when our gut health isn't optimal, hormones become imbalanced. For example, there is this new research that shows the gut bacteria or the microbiome plays a major role in estrogen regulation. And these studies indicate that poor gut health increases the risk of uh, estrogen-related diseases like PCOS, endometriosis, and even breast cancer. So eat foods rich in probiotics like yogurt, kefir, or just take probiotic supplements. I actually have a video about the probiotics. You can check that out. I'll put the link for you in the description as well. And I hope you found this video informative for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment or you can just DM me. And also, if you have any tips to add that help you manage your hormones, then feel free to leave it in the comments and help others as well. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of the informative videos on health and pharmacy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.